Hello everyone, I'm back to do another video, and this is going to be a, a get ready for a, um, a work day first of all, and then after that I'm going to a concert with my husband, who has been really excited about watching all these bands from Nordic countries, Norway and Holland and places like that, and we watch the show The Vikings, and, and he loves the, the, the kind of um, look that they have there, and, the, and the, they do amazing videos in the countryside and in those countries, and just it's gorgeous. And usually what they have is is some rough looking dudes that look really Viking like. And you'll have one like amazing, incredible female singer who's actually the the main the main voice of the, of the band. So uh, he's been wanting to go for a long time. We keep thinking about it and talking about it. And and he wanted to actually fly overseas just to go see this band concert. And the one band is called Lieutenant Coil. She's a she's a, the female um, voice to the the band. And there's also a band called Epica, which is coming after that, so that's happening tonight. So um, it has really wanted me to kind of do some kind of um, kind of goth kind of look. <laughs> and I don't really do goth a whole. I mean, I don't obviously it's not my, my normal style, but he he liked the idea of, of dressing kind of kind of you know kind of rough and you know lots of black and and um, he doesn't want any eyelashes. He doesn't like the fake eyelashes, so I thought I'd like to do some really funky looks because I don't know how to do all those things. But he didn't go for that part of it. But anyway, basically what we're going to do is, is going to do a smoky eye and, um, and a lot of those people who are in those countries are very, very pale, very pale skin. So I'm going to keep my skin pale like it is. And then um, a little bit red right now. I'm just going to the light possibly. But anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and do um, do that. And I'll do foundation first and I'm trying not to run out of time. So this is my concoction. I mixed a couple of different foundations together a while back and it was a really nice mix for me. Just kind of quickly get it on. Forgot to tamper my sponge, so that's going to be a problem. Because I guess I'm going to do it real quick. This is a combination. Well, it's actually it's two Ben Nye colors. So this is a theater makeup. It's a cream foundation. Covers well. Slopping on right now. Grab my water bottle right. I already have on an oil, actually two oils. This skin's been really dry. So I'm going to just apply this right on top of the oil that's soaked into the skin. Use the flat side a little bit probably faster than doing it. Another way. I wish YouTube gave me more time to talk and go over things. I've been wanting to try the, um, the tape technique where people put tape on, underneath their eyes to get a nice clean line for your eye makeup and shadow and doing rings without making them be uneven and things like that. So I think I'll kind of do that first and then. See how much I can get done in the time that I have. So one of my powders that I have I like a lot is a really light powder from Clinique. This is this number um, transparency neutral. It's a very light color for paler skin tones. So I'll just put a jab in that and just step that on the skin or on the hair or on the on the foundation. Because it's cream, you don't want to move the cream off the area that you just applied. So I'm going to pat a little bit extra under the eyes too. And we'll see if at the tape application with doing the, the eyeshadow and I make it part of it. If that works well or if I peel off the tape and it looks really bad, then I'll know that it was a mistake. <laughs> I can usually fix almost anything. So 
not to worry about that, I guess. So I'm going to go with my um, concealer, and this is the, my Clinique, or my, my um, Lancome concealer at the Cerns. And whatever color, I don't care what color it is actually because it's just going to be a primer on my lids. So pretty nice and even. Again, the brows are, I definitely have brows, I don't need that a whole lot of color, but when I do, I can make it more intense. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do tape around the eye area. And leave a little space right here. So I'm actually touching the, where the lashes are. And then that angle over there. Line up with your under eye area. It looks pretty even. My eyes are asymmetrical. One eyebrow is higher than the other just because of the ways that I make, I make faces. My little Sasha just came in, so she's she's ready to come join us. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start with my shadows and get the eye makeup done as fast as I can. This is actually the um, Smoky Skies palette from Estee Lauder, and we'll just use the colors from this. This one. Hi, sweet girl. You sure a sweet girl. I'm going to get a little bit of uh, like a blender brush first. I think we're kind of a soft, kind of sandy color just to go into the crease area. I watched a Jacqueline Hill video today, and she, it was kind of a long video, but it was kind of a fun one, so she still liked to powder her whole entire eye area first, and then the shadow top of that, this goes on smoother. I just, I want to be that precise and picky, I guess. It's a pretty color, actually. It's a really nice, soft one. I have a really neutral skin tone, so I have, I do a lot of neutral colors, but I just nicely with that as opposed to rest of things a really really warm color so now that you have a, a stopping point for the for the shadow because the tape is there I can go right I don't have to really be careful I can just really nilly apply it <laughs> because when I take off the tape the angle of the end of the shape will still be there nice and clean like that so there's that and it's a kind of boring color, but it's a good place to start off with. So I'm going to actually go in next to the um, glitter sparkle one. This is a kind of metallic black charcoal kind of color. Get into the crease. I'm going to keep it more on the outer corner of the eye. Round to the lid a little bit. Walk my eye here. I do a lot of full full crease dark colors a lot of the time, but I'm trying to just keep it lighter in the inner corner of the eye. The more white eyed effect. If I can get a little bit more color of my finger, just get some depth to it. Right in the outer corner here, compress it in. Sometimes that works better if you just 
use your finger and get it in there. And don't throw the eyeshadow all under your eyes and make a big mess. I think. I got really a couple of mirrors going on here with my you know, the mirror here, the camera, and then also the mirror on the side. So I keep looking in different places to see if I've got it really truly even on both sides. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I'm going to do a um, bit of a highlight color. So there's a little champagne color in here, like a, a really neutral champagne color. So we'll use this. To the inner corner of the eye to brighten. Yeah, it's pretty like that. That's good. All right, this side is going to tap the color in so it blends and melds to the other shades, but it also doesn't undo the, the dark drama part of it. A little bit more on the outer part here. Let's see, there we go. So you can like light right over the iris. Put that sheen there. The tape feels weird, I can tell you that. <laughs> sort of like smiling, I can see it like wrinkle up a little bit like that. So I'm going to go ahead and do this the same color, a little bit of that matte and white. We'll see if this comes out too light. make sure we don't have anything, any sharp places where it stops and starts. This looks pretty angular. Okay, so now I'm going to do I have a couple different pencils I could use. I have my Lauder Colquajal, which is a really nice soft pencil. Um, soft but smudgy. So a good way to do a base color if you want to do base color like that. And then we also have the uh, Maybelline Color Tattoo Black Cream Shadow, which we can use as, as a liner as well. And I also have my Milani Stay Put Eyeliner. And this one is really um, serious, serious, serious pigment. So I might just do that um, on the waterline and my lower lash line, but I'll use the um, pull it all first just to kind of see how that goes. I won't use the Kajal past like for the wing, I'll just do it for the actual lash line because it's kind of soft and warm and it gets into the like the hairs on the end of into the Lash line there, so there is that line there. So a thin line all the way across on both sides. It's really hard to tell if you really have it. Even I've got light on both sides of my of my room, but it's still just kind of I'll find it when I get to work and they'll tell me if I got it right or not. Because it's definitely um, just getting the balance perfect. So that is that right there. So now I'm going to go ahead and do I'll grab a really skinny, I have a really skinny brush, which is also not here yet. I'll go grab that real quick here. 